Anyway, guys, I figure since I can't go to the other islands, I got a little bit of battery on the phone to burn, so I give it a shot and try to do a little talk here, which I'll probably kick over to the Uper Loper, just so people have a choice, you know. So I'm sitting here, breathing deep, trying to relax. And a couple of things that come to my mind are this. <clears throat> so for me, I've come to the conclusion, and I was really resistant to this for most of my life, that, that, there, that God's real. And the reason why I've come to that conclusion, there's, you know, some personal experiences that I, that you really, you try to explain them and they just don't resonate with other people because there's just a lot of, of this really meaningful stuff in life that just can't be conveyed. I mean, when it does happen, you know, like in a movie or a song or something, it's, it's like a miracle and it's what makes those pieces of art so precious and so rare. But, you know, no rare pieces of art are ever going to be made here on this channel, I'm pretty sure. But if I was going to try to explain it in a nutshell, what I've noticed is that when you're in a peaceful place, a quiet place, that the soft whisper of God, or you could say your own inner self, or nature, or you know whatever that higher power is, is able to be heard. And the chaos of normal life drowns it out and that's you know that's one of the the huge challenges of this modern life is the truth gets drowned out because the truth is quiet it's unassuming it's humble it's uh it doesn't need to shout you know there's probably a lot of passages in the bible that talk about this i got friends who know the bible backwards and forward um maybe i'll ask them you know I always say maybe I'll put some links below <laughs> if I remember and if I find them. So, but yeah, there's there's you know there's stuff in the Bible that that I've come across like you know that famous one about love is you know love is kind, love is patient. You know, there's um, that's been used in poems and things like that, songs. But it, it's kind of originally talked about in the Bible. And there's also passages in the Bible about you know, the soft voice or the quiet voice, you know, that, what is it, the, 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 the peaceful place, wavy, what are you doing? You know, the peaceful place on high, you know, maybe I'll try to find that passage as well. I got a friend who I can just kind of, it's almost like playing, uh, name that tune. <laughs> I could text him and be like, Hey, doesn't the Bible say something like this? And he can just go, yep. Proverbs three, passage nine, line two. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Oh man, maybe he might come visit me this this fall, and if he does, I I'll, I'll introduce you you guys to him. Uh, but yeah, so that's why it's so important, I think, to go to do stuff like this, or you know, if you got a quiet place not too far from your house, it doesn't have to be an island out in the middle of nowhere. Um, but it does help because. Like right now, I can't hear any man-made sounds. You know, I think if I strain my ear, there might be a couple fishermen out here in the distance with their little trolling motors. But for the most part, it's it's just totally peaceful. It's a peaceful day. There's no wind. Um, and that's when I notice that I can just start to, to relax. And it's uh, it's a rare thing. It's a crazy world. It's going to get crazier. So, yeah, that's my little pontification today. <clears throat> it's probably not very deep. doesn't have to be. Um, it's all worth it. That's why I go through the extra efforts to go to some of these isolated places because when you finally get there, it's... You know, it's the payoff. And it's priceless. 
And I'm just so thankful there are places like this. I can't imagine what it must have been like to work here, you know, to be to be the lighthouse keeper for for this right here, you know, and to have the view that I'm looking at right now every day. I wonder if they ever got sick of it or just took it for granted or became immune to it. Probably to a certain extent. Seems to be human nature. But uh, I don't know. Some people some people are really good at like every day kind of counting their blessings and you know I'm I'm trying to become one of those people too. It might take a lifetime, so but uh, Okay guys. <clears throat> Thanks for sticking around. If you're here, very much appreciate it. If you, you know, you take the rabbit hole just a little deeper, and come and say hi over here. And um, I don't know, love you guys, and I appreciate it. I'll keep making these videos for you, especially over on Backwaters. Love it. I do it for free, though it is nice to make a few bucks. I think I'm up almost to 3,000 subscribers right now over there, like 100 short of that. And, uh, and we'll make it. Yeah. We don't need to get too big. Got our own little, got our own little thing over here. So <laughs> I'm sure there's a million other channels, though, that are like this size. And, you know, you can never, you just, I don't know, you get lucky and you get guided and you, you end up in the right place. So. And hopefully you feel like you're in the right place here and especially over there. So, okay, guys, I'll shut up. Thanks for putting up with me. Thanks for putting up with the Beagle. And uh, I will catch you later.